Hi, welcome to Aqua Hamster. Recently I got this car heads up display and the reason I got it is because my commute to work has now increased significantly. I'm driving several hours a day and figure I'd just get something to help me monitor a number of things. Vehicle speed, RPM, fuel consumption. Here's all the information printed on the back over here. I got it from GearBest.com for less than $50. It took about a week for it to arrive. This is the A8 model. I'll place the link to this item in the description below. Here's the actual item. I'll get to this soon. Let's see what else it came with in the box. We got the OBD2 connector. On this side is the mini USB. The non-slip pad. Here's the user manual. Let's take a look at some of the pages here. If you want to read any part in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. I never used this before. I know there are apps on a smartphone that can function similar to this, but the problem is that if I leave my, my smartphone, my iPhone or my Samsung phone on a dashboard, those tend to overheat quicker. It also shortens the lifespan of the smartphones too. As with these devices, these have a much higher temperature tolerance. Alright, and the last thing in the box is this item over here. And here's the reflective film. Peel this off, stick it on my windshield, and with this piece off, then whatever's on this head mounted or heads up display, it will then be reflected off this. It would be a lot clearer than if I were to just reflect the display directly off my car windshield. There's just three ways to interact with it. Power port, power button, and some dial over here. There's just one cable for interface and power. This OBD2 cable is about six feet in length. And for all vehicles made after 1996, you'll see one of these type of ports. So I'm just plug this in here. push it in. For the other end of the cable, the one that has the mini USB type of connector, just plug it into the heads-up display. Now, everything's mirrored. So when you place it in one of the reflective screens, this one says HUD. And since my car is not powered up, it's just measuring 12 volts for the battery. Let me power up my car here. All right, the voltage went up to 14. Turn that radio here. All right, there we go. Let me step on the gas a little bit so we can see the engine rev. See the little white bar? It shows my RPM. I've been using this for a while and it's been working great. I did need to tune it a little bit just so that even when I reach higher speeds, the speedometer is still accurate. To tune it, show you here, I press and hold, there's this button right here, this one. I just press it, push it in, and currently I have it set to 103. I can press, fo well, push forward, and or pull it back a bit. I'm going to leave it at 103 for now. If I just tap that button, we'll keep pushing it in. I can cycle through the different menus, RPM adjustment, the uh, fuel efficiency. But the things that a lot of these are in metric. So it's, some of them don't even apply to me since I live in the US. And all the thing I had to do was change this to miles per hour. The digits on this display is large, easy to read. And in daytime, nice and bright. At nighttime, it dims slightly, just so that it's easier on my eyes. The image is being reflected off my reflective screen. It looks nice, clear. Then up here, it's being reflected off the windshield. You see like this little halo effect. It's not perfectly clear. It's like double vision almost. 
And that's why you should either use one of these reflective pieces or the reflective film that comes with the unit. I found this heads up display very easy setup, very easy to use. Took a little tuning, but it's very simple to just adjust the measurements. And it powers up automatically once I power up the vehicle. It shows my RPM, my miles per hour, voltage, temperature. I'm gonna shut off the vehicle. And after about 15, 20 seconds or so, the display will power off by itself. Now, it did come with a reflective screen, a reflective film, and it's very easy to use, it's adhesive. You can also get one of these portable reflective units too, if you have multiple cars or need to travel with it. But overall, this is well worth, it was under $50 at GearBest.com. I'll place the link in the description below. So yeah, I'll recommend this. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster.